Archer Rock Press. Now, you're gonna go a little bit wider than a traditional rock press. And some things to keep in mind with your posture is if done correctly, your forehead should be touching the floor <coughs> as a reference point. If you're touching your nose or your cheek, then you're sort of doing a half-baked push-up. So we're gonna do one side first, have a minute, have 30 seconds or so, then do the other side. So this is what it's gonna look like in the setup. Usually would be shoulder width, we're gonna go a little bit wider than that, up onto our tippy toes. Hips are back, forehead is down. I'm gonna sit down, press, one side at a time. One, two, one more, three. Then I'm gonna do the other side. One, two, three. Now, you'll notice with my posture, the sort of a triangle shape, my hips are here, legs are here, torso is here, and I'm moving down into the movement as I perform it. Um, making sure you do one side first and the other side after, making sure you're touching your head as a reference point. Um, and then other than that, it's, it's pretty straightforward. You should feel it through your tricep and shoulder if done correctly. Um, if it is, oh, one thing to keep in mind is even though we're supposed to be working one side at a time, you are still gonna get a little bit of assistance through the other side. Um, and again, making sure you're going slightly wider than what you usually would, so you have the ability to place a bias on one side when performing the exercise. If you go too narrow, it sort of defeats the purpose of the exercise.